during my travels in Asia, I happened to visit Singapore. I stayed in Singapore for only two days, so I tried to have time to see everything. I woke up, I took the camera and immediately went to see the city-state. In addition, this trip was really spontaneous and <laughs> I didn't have time to prepare for it at all. Singapore always seemed to me something mysterious and I associated this country only with the Pirates of the Caribbean Sea. <coughs> I never would have thought of that. Really, you've never been to Singapore. And uh, I knew it only through articles like facts about Singapore. And in all such articles, the most of the facts are positive, but not everything is so clear. Well, since I knew about this country only from top facts about it, I will compare what I saw with my own eyes with the facts from the internet that I read before traveling to Singapore. And it's time to facts from the internet. Changi Airport was named the world's best airport eight times. You know, an airport is like a hallway in an apartment. This is the first thing you see when you enter in an apartment or arrive in a new country. And that's the first thing you judge a country or city or city country in the case of Singapore. <laughs> Look at this, it's, it's just a, an airport. The greenest airport I ever seen. I have no word. Giant difference after Thailand, after Malaysia. Just look at this. No lane, n even no people here. What? Everything is clean, everything is neat. Just listen how quiet it is. And this, this is a work of art. Collectively, Singaporeans are the fastest pedestrian in the world, walking at a speed of about 6.15 km per hour. So, we are going to Singapore downtown to check this fact. If there are fast walkers in Singapore, then they must be here. Yeah. Can I say, I don't think that the local pedestrians are the fastest in the world. Usual normal speed. Almost no one is in a hurry and perhaps I walk faster. The 
there are over 3,000 kilometers of roads in Singapore, which, when stretched it from end to end, can cover the distance between Singapore and Hong Kong. Also, there are almost no traffic jams in Singapore. Almost no traffic jams in Singapore. For real? Let's be honest, there are traffic jams here, but, but they are minor. In general, you can drive anywhere in any time of the day very quickly. The roads here are optimized as much as possible so as not to create traffic jams. In addition, the tax on the car is very high, super high. In this way, the government try to control traffic in the country. Well, the size of the city country is not so large that it takes a long time to get somewhere. In addition, there are many different ways to get around here. Bus, really perfect for me. Taxis, bicycle. Oh, and speaking of bicycles, here is a local two-story parking for bikes looks very nice. Littering is a huge offense in Singapore. If found littering small items, you will have to pay about 300 Singapore dollars is fine. On the other hand, littering large items like bottles or cans can earn you a corrective work order, wherein you will have to wear a bright green glowing vest and clean up a certain specified area to shame you publicly and make you realize how tough it's for the sweepers and cleaners. A fact that is found in absolutely top facts about Singapore. The cleanest city in the world. Crazy fines for even discarded paper. What the f I certainly don't agree with the title the cleanest city in the world. So, look, it's it's really clean city, especially when compared to the rest of Asia. But this should not be exaggerated, they think. So, there are really big fines, but but I'm not sure that this can always be controlled. I was in Ave of Malaysia. Before that, I was in Ave of Bangkok. But now I have no idea what can get ahead of Singapore in its appearance, in its architecture. This is an absolutely delight. At the same time, I can't say that I want to come back here again and again. And honestly, I'm a little scared by the reputation of the cleanest and non-corrupt city in the world. People always and everywhere remind people. And I know that in Singapore there is poetry and crime and drugs, but it's just all well hidden, successfully hidden. It's worth noting. At the same time, it's without a doubt a magnificent and unique city country. And if there is such an opportunity, you should fly there and see everything with your own eyes.